In Hillsboro, there is one place for everyone to kick back with a drink, spend a leisurely afternoon, or watch a game with all the other sports fans in town. Locals and non-locals alike are welcomed, as acquaintances, friends, and even strangers mix easily. The Wooden Nickel is located at Churton and King Street, right in the heart of Hillsboro. You'll find farmers taking a break after a busy, labor-intensive morning, old co-workers and acquaintances catching up on each other's lives, and couples absorbed in their own little worlds. Inside, the bartenders are always busy catering to their customers' needs. They're in charge of keeping glasses full, as well as bringing pub food out from the kitchen. People stop by from out of town just to try their burgers and wings. At night, Mayor Stevens often makes his way through the nickel on his way home or after dinner to check in with everyone. It gets even more crowded as it gets later in the evening. The nickel has a standing challenge to all of its patrons to try all 69 of the liquors behind the bar. Those who succeed get a plaque of honor on the wall. On any given night, you might see a bartender climb up to grab a bottle from the top shelf. The one in nickel is the place to be on Friday afternoons at the end of a long week. On particularly warm afternoons, the nickel attracts a broad clientele, including Maynard the Pitbull, who happily greets customers and passers-by alike. Maynard has become well-known by many who frequent the nickel, and he is always sure to make friends with nearby customers, even if his affectionate likes take some of his smaller friends by surprise. His owner, Angela, has an endless amount of love and patience and wants to be an art teacher. She recently returned from teaching abroad and now gets to spend afternoons at the Nickel with Maynard. Another regular fixture at the outside tables, J.D. has been stopping by the Nickel almost every afternoon to sit outside for an hour or two since it first opened. J.D. has lived in Hillsborough all his life and has seen Trenton Street change with the times. He can recall a time when the storefronts were all local banks, which have now been replaced by a giant sun chest, lawyer shops, and various eateries. He sits outside every afternoon greeting those who pass by. He most likes when he unexpectedly sees old friends he hasn't seen in a long time, such as when he runs into his daughter's childhood best friend. The Nickel is a place for different generations to share common experiences, whether JD and his daughter's friend, or father and son riding through town on a motorcycle and stopping for a break. Another event that brings people into the Nickel is basketball. Bartenders and patrons fall evenly into UNC, Duke, and NC State camps. If UNC is playing, you are almost guaranteed to find Dave and his buddies in the nickel. With two television screens in the small bar, fans crowd around the side tables, the main bar, and the center standing bar to get a good spot to see the game and participate in strategy and trash talk. The entire bar reacts as shots unexpectedly bounce away from the basket, and it only gets more heated the later in the game it gets. Cooks from next door even come by to check out the score and partake in strategy discussions and trash talk. Back in the kitchen, the cooks are usually paying attention to the score as well. Mark, Mike, Mel, and the rest of the guys are always busy at work. The Wooden Nickel is known for its pub food. Sandwiches, burgers, wings, and homemade fries that keep them busy as they cook to feed everyone in the bar. <coughs> for the bartenders and staff, the Wooden Nickel is more than just a place of employment. It's an extended family. The most places will tell you that at the Wooden Nickel, it's really true. For the bartenders, it's the people that make the nickel so different. They always know the names of at least half the people in the bar and their orders at any given time. Tony, the last bartender to be hired, said he felt like he was really part of the family within only one month of working here. A Chapel Hill native, he's already thinking of putting more permanent rooms down in Hillsboro. Whether or not they're actually working, you can find bartenders and cooks hanging out at the nickel and enjoying a drink, a bite, or just one another's company. Part of what makes the wooden nickel so special is that it's located in Hillsboro. Maybe it's the fact that, as a local told me, Central Hillsboro is a place where you don't just leave your door unlocked when you go to bed at night, but you leave it wide open. Hillsboro has that small town charm of a truly close-knit community that you don't find in too many places anymore. It makes the nickel a place where people working next door run in to grab themselves a cook from the bar where everyone really does know each other's name, and if they don't, they say a hi and ask how your day is going anyways, and a place where your bartenders not only know who you are, but they know what's going on in your life. What makes the wooden nickel so special is the people, but Hillsboro is what makes the people who they are, whether they come from here or found their way here. Hillsboro is just as big a part of the nickel as the nickel is part of Hillsboro. <laughs>